Wow! Hello, welcome back to another Nightwish reaction with me, Nina Schofield, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and session musician. Very happy to be watching some more Nightwish. I've been doing a little bit of research into this song, specifically with the lyrics. I was reading through them as I kind of like to do before I listen to a Nightwish song because I get so distracted by the music. Uh, and to me, it was really bringing Peter Pan metaphors to life and one particular thing that interested me was the dark chest of wonders part in the chorus because according to uh, the little research that I've done the first page of Stephen King's novel The Confrontation uh, was dedicated to his wife Tabitha and had written in it for my wife Tabitha this dark chest of wonders so of course it could be just a coincidence that it's the same message but I don't know I feel like this is going to be an interesting one to watch and if it has that Peter Pan aspect to it perhaps we'll hear some almost childlike wonder <laughs> within the song but anyway I didn't even say we are of course listening today to Dark Chest of Wonders at Wacken 2013 and uh, this performance features Thomas, Empu, Yuka, Marco, Troy and Floor. So I'm really excited to watch this and we're going to super, super analyse. I've been doing even more analysis in my Nightwish videos recently and that does mean stopping and starting the video. So if you want to go and watch the original video without stopping and starting and analysing and talking, then I will leave a link for that in the description box. But this video is going to be very analytical kind of diving into what is happening within this performance. So with that being said, I hope you will enjoy this reaction analysis to Nightwish Dark Chest of Wonders. Here we go. Love the counting. <laughs> Listen to the crowd roar. Uh, it's that insistence on being around the same note that's interesting for me this time round because quite often Nightwish will come in and then move all around into uh, their different chord patterns but this one around that E heavy distortion whoa whoa <laughs> I love that just that, almost even just that is a break from the heaviness having the high frequency <laughs> coming through on the drums. Wow, the pyrotechnics. Don't you think it's interesting as well that because it's nighttime too, everything's lit up in such a fantastic way. It's almost like we're in a haunted house, uh, completely disregarding the Peter Pan thing where I was like, oh, there'll be a childlike innocence. I mean, maybe there will be, but I am all in with the kind of Stephen King side of things now, I think. Oh, wow. Wait, I'm taking it back because we're in the, around that G. So that's another thing that Nightwish do really well is just these sudden modulations. So I love that we're just moving from that G to A in quick succession, no messing about, builds the tension. And that motif, there's floor. Wait, I want to hear that again. I am in love with Floor's vibrato at the end of that phrase, but the choir chants, that's a very Nightwish thing as well. Probably a very Wacken concert thing too. I've heard a lot of these chants coming through in several of their videos. It's that choral aspect. up to there. So 
So the D5 already, okay. Haha, <laughs> wait, listen, again, modulating. So we're... Something around there, but then... <laughs> I believe that's where we're going to now, to the A, it's that G to A thing. G minor to A minor. Actually, it does make me think of um, a pirate ship in a way. <laughs> Uh, question, does anyone know what is being chanted at those points? It sounds like words rather than just ha ha ha, you know? If you know, please let me know in the, the comments box. Um, I'll just take it back. slight crescendo at the end of that phrase and uh if we're looking at the lyrics here once there was a child's dream one night the clock struck 12 the window opened wide once there was a child's heart the age i learned to fly and took a step outside so that's that you know it's an undeniable i think piece pan reference and then once i knew all the tales it's time to turn back time i love that that we have that kind of a different a bit of a tongue twister actually it's time to turn back time. Uh, something to think about if you're a singer and trying to get these lyrics across clearly. Follow the pale moonlight. Once I wished for this night, faith brought me here. It's time to cut the rope and fly to a dream far across the sea. Kind of getting rid of any preconceptions, any shackles, any chains. Open the chest once more. Dark chest of wonders. And there's that Stephen King reference, I think. And I feel like we have had both so far the the intro was very much a stephen king intro and now we're into this kind of uh peter pan-esque pirate ship i was gonna say ahoy mateys but i think that's a step too far um and uh i i just feel like i'm in a peter pan story but a nightwish version of that okay let's keep going <laughs> Again, lifting. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I like this. Uh, I really like that melodic movement. Yes, we're in the A minor. To that C major, that's a really nice movement a minor to c major beautiful let's just take it back and listen to that again oh and there was a passing chord in there I missed that uh, so gently moving into octave five beforehand we had that real direct impassioned uh, vocal in the fifth octave now it's that more classical movement into it whoa smooth is such an interesting section. I'm gonna hear that again. The little breathy vocal from floor. Is that her singing fly or something like that? It doesn't say it on the lyrics, I don't think. There's some kind of motif going on, that synthy aspect, the heaviness still. I just really like Floor's vocal coming through there. Really interesting. Dramatic drums. This is the crowd. OK, 
Okay, so this is another example of when Nightwish take a song, they give you certain sections, and then they say, bye bye. Here is this new, brand new section, completely different. Vibe wise, obviously still under the same umbrella, but where are we going? Super dark. Whoa. that again. Hear the choir vocals underneath the floor as well. Uh, and drumming wise, so Yuka, this to me almost sounds like the ticking of a, a clock or time running out or what was the vibe of the lyrics at this point specifically? We've got this, the one in the big blue is what the world stole from me. This night will bring him back to me, fly to a dream far across the sea. Huh, okay, okay, let's keep listening. Wow. Let's hear that again as well. placement there is amazing and just lengthening those vowel shapes to help with the projection really like that so f sharp five and with that thing we were talking about where is that connection now with the vocal power behind that wow, wow, wow. what is happening now Okay, okay. Like that movement. Like the fact that we're still, even though we're in a brand new thing again, we're still kind of giving, paying homage to the changing, the modulation, the key changes in movements. I, I just don't know what's gonna happen with this. Wow. Okay. Oh. I just keep wanting to sing the far across the sea aspect. I love that part. So when Floor's singing, Duchess of Wonders, I'm like, no, let's do the far across the sea bit again. <laughs> Opening out. Wow. Okay, so now we've moved up to the D, so it was in that C. You know, quite often with key changes, people will move up a semitone. So that's, say we were in the C, that would mean going up to the C sharp. But what Nightwish are doing here is they're moving up whole tones. And I think that gives it an extra level of elevation. Well, it literally does, but it's just in the, the vibe of when you're listening to a track, you're kind of trained, I think, from a young age to expect key changes to be just that semitone. So when it's this whole tone, it really brings the song into another realm. So interesting. I'll just take it back so we can hear that key change again. Love it. Ah, oh, I love the hits on the drums. <laughs> okay, because here... Now again, I, I feel like this F sharp is the, the key part of this song in terms of um, range because that's where Flora is hitting it in all different types of vocal quality. So we're getting that whole, I don't know what the right word is, it's just the, the colour within her vocal that I really like. Hang on, I'll just take it back one sec. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, I'm 
must hear that last bit again. Wow. Wow. Just incredible. It's just the, the level of intensity in Floor's delivery. And if you think about the fact that I'm assuming this isn't the first song that they've been doing in this concert so far. I mean, maybe it is, but uh, just the level of intensity. This takes a lot. This takes a lot of stamina, a lot of vocal stamina. And the stage presence, the uh, just commitment to putting on the best show is what I really, really appreciate with this. Ah, another great one. And it really did take me, I feel, on a musical journey there. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. We really did a deep dive on this one. So <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts on when you first listened to the song, did you immediately get the references? Uh, did you look them up like I did beforehand? Or was it something that just came across to you without having to do that? I'd be interested to know. And yeah, just your general thoughts in the comments box down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button, become part of our family here. And you can of course find me on patreon.com forward slash Nina Schofield, where I have hundreds of exclusive posts for you to go and, un go and unlock. I can't talk today, uh, but it's okay. So uh, do go ahead and check that out. I'll look forward to seeing you on there and I'll look forward to seeing you on another video here too. Okay, love you, bye.